Abstract submission for the 6th Nano Scientific Forum Europe 2023 is now open. Join this European SPM meeting and be part of exciting talks from the nano research field, practical hands-on sessions, and a thrilling social program in Barcelona's Flair, hosted by ICFO, Barcelona, Spain. See you in Barcelona in September 2023. Also, so far, your research experience has been wonderful, uh, and I hope it will continue to be wonderful in the future as well. However, uh, if you had three wishes to improve your research experience, what would you ask for? And I'm not promising anything here, okay? <laughs> um, I think for me, the obvious one is that it's not really, I would really have liked it for the pandemic to have not happened. <laughs> Really? You know. No way. Really? No, don't. Yeah, I know. It's shocking. Yeah. Um, not just. <laughs> what like, a paper in 2020. So. True. Um, <laughs> you know, like for all the obvious reasons, but also like I didn't, I haven't really been to any in person conferences during my PhD. Um, I was the kind of, we were talking about me maybe doing a research placement with like one of our collaborators at the end of 2020. Um, and then obviously that just also never happened. Um, you know, and I think it would have been nice to sort of have that typical PhD student experience of being able to go to conferences and stuff. Um, but there, you know, like you said, I did the paper, I did FameLab, which we talked a bit not on the call. Um, and I'm not sure I would necessarily have done that if I hadn't, you know, if it weren't the pandemic or whatever. So, you know, there's good parts. But and then also I would like there not to be publishing fees <laughs> for journals. <laughs> I think that would be nice um, not having to pay the open access fee and it just be open access. I think that would be nice. Would be my big wish. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes complete sense. I hope you have uh, the typical PhD experience, going to conferences and placements and stuff, while you're doing a PhD. Or if you do uh, decide to uh, do a postdoc and stay in research, I hope you get to experience all of that because. It's it's a pity that because of the pandemic, a lot of PhD students or master's students uh, didn't really get that exposure because that's also very, very important. But of course, as you found different ways like FameLab or getting the uh, paper published and all of that, so that worked out quite, quite well. And with the journal fees, yeah. Yeah, I hope we are working towards it. I feel like we are, um, but there is a long way to go. I have the feeling, but I feel like we are getting there somehow. Um, we have a third wish. You can always ask for a coffee machine. That is also, we have had guests who are like, it would be nice to have a coffee machine uh, or some money for myself or like something like that. Anything. Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, a cookie hmm. dispenser, a biscuit dispenser. <laughs> Yeah, that might be nice. Maybe the, um, yeah, maybe we used to have a coffee machine and then someone took it with them after the pandemic. <gasps> so maybe having, <laughs> maybe having it back. <laughs> that is so evil to take away the coffee machine from scientists. Like, oh my God, what a horrible person that is. I hope they have a good reason for taking, depriving you all of coffee during work. There's lots of lovely coffee shops near the university. So it's kind of nice to have an excuse to go for a little walk and get some anyway so yeah maybe someone who just give me coffee go to the coffee shop and be like here becky you can just have the coffee you don't have to buy it every time <laughs> <laughs> yeah i hope um all three wishes of yours will, will happen they will come to life uh, sometime soon especially the first one with experiencing conferences and uh, going for placements and spending time in uh, collaborators lab because i think i did that during my PhD and it was a really, really interesting experience for me. Uh, I got to learn a lot. The work culture is so different. Um, it's, it's just amazing. It's a very, very enriching experience. I hope you get to do that. I hope you get to experience it. And the open access, uh, well, it might not happen in the short term, but hopefully in the long term, in our lifetime, so to say, uh, we make a huge progress. I hope that. And I hope you get the coffee without having to pay for it. <laughs> A good coffee because that's very very important we hope you enjoyed this snippet check out the full episode by following the link in the show notes a lot of work goes into 
creating every episode of Under the Microscope. We meticulously look for the best materials and nanoscientists from around the world to feature on Under the Microscope. So do leave us a review and share your favorite episodes with your favorite people. Thank you very much.